daily prophetic. So this morning during prayer, I just heard the words back to the basics, back to the basics. And the Holy Spirit was just speaking to me about focusing on the assignment that he has given each and every one of us for this season. An assignment that is specifically tailor-made for you. And it's how the Lord is speaking a specific assignment, a specific route to take for this year. And when the Holy Spirit just said, back to the basics, I saw that there were some people that... I mean this with all love and, and respect, have drifted from their assignment. I saw how people have drifted from their assignment and the Lord is bringing some course correction. The Lord is bringing some course correction in this time. Ever so slightly where, where people have been called in a certain direction, but you know, us as humans, we can feel the need to want to change things up, to want to change uh, things that, that might have been working for such a long time. And it's how the Lord is just bringing course correction in this time. Course correction in this time. And I just feel this, this, this overwhelming urgency or seriousness about the season that we're in to focus on, on what the Lord has called each and every one of us into. To not look to the left or to the right, look what other people are doing, look what is working in their life, but to focus on the direction, the journey, the assignment that God has for each and every one of us. Just focus on that. It's kind of like a, a, a runner staying in his lane in this time. And, and sometimes, you know, as we go through life, and this is normal, where the lines get blurred a little bit. The lines get blurred a little bit and we feel the need that when something isn't happening in our time frame, when something isn't happening in, in the way that we expected it, maybe you're still waiting for your breakthrough. Maybe you're still waiting for, you know, that moment of like, Lord, when is it going to happen that we feel the need that we need to change things up, that we need to uh, do something special, like we're doing something wrong. But that is not an indication of, of the obedience to what God has called you into. The success that you're seeing around you doesn't, doesn't mean that you're missing it. Doesn't mean that you're missing it. I just feel the need that there are some people that need to hear this. That just because you aren't seeing the breakthrough, the results that you were hoping for, you haven't missed it. You haven't missed it. I believe the Lord is working behind the scenes so much more than we can ever comprehend, ever comprehend. But it's so important to stay focused on what he has called us into. Back to the basics, back to the basics. The Lord also reminded me of, of living a quiet life, living a quiet life, just returning back to him, returning back to the basics, the foundations of our faith, of spending time with the Lord every single day, living that, that quiet life, shutting out the world all around us and just focusing upon the Lord, making time for Him every single day. There is, there is power in the basics. There is power in the basics. There is no power in being busy throughout life. And I know the Lord is, is asking of, of some of you listening to this right now to lay down certain things, to lay down certain things, to lay down things that have been consuming your time, that have been taking up your time. And it's in a season where those things aren't going to bear fruit right now. It's not that they're particularly wrong. It's not that they're bad ideas. But it's just like in this season that you're in right now, those things are not going to bear fruit. They're going to fill up your schedule. They're going to take up time. And God is calling us back to our original assignment. 
some course correction needs to take place in this moment to focus upon those things that he has called you in this specific season. I want to pray for us before we end off that, that we will be discerning what to focus on, where to put our hands and what to leave. What are the things that we completely have to leave alone and where must we place our hands? Where is the plow that we are supposed to push? You don't want to be pushing the wrong plow in this season. So I want to pray for you for discernment. I want to pray that our eyes may be open, that the Lord may also remove anything that is not bearing fruit, any task, any assignment, any relationship that is not bearing fruit in this season. That the Lord may open up our eyes to things that are distracting us. That we can walk in his perfect will without any complications. The quicker we just stay in our lane, stay and walk in, in his perfect will, the quicker we're going to reach that, that finish line, the quicker we're going to, because we're all running a, a race of faith, the quicker we're going to reach that. Finish our race. I just want to pray for those that, that have feel like the lines have become blurred a little bit, that we can have discernment for that. So Lord, I thank you for every single person listening right now. Lord, you know exactly where the lines are supposed to be. Lord, you know exactly the assignments that we are supposed to focus on. Father, I pray that, that you will make it clear to us those things that we need to focus on. And Lord, also give us discernment for the things that need to go. The things that we shouldn't be focusing on in this time. So Lord, I pray, remove those things that are a distraction in our life right now. Tasks, assignments, relationships, ideas, businesses, whatever it is, Lord. But Lord, I pray that you do it gracefully with us, Lord. Have mercy with us, Lord. Show us grace. That when you cut and take things away, Father, I pray for a, a surgeon's hand as you meticulously remove these things from our lives. Father, I pray that the scales may fall off of our eyes in this time, that we're able to see clearly those things that you have for us, clearly those things that you have for us. Jesus, we love you. We give you all the glory, all the praise. And Father, we just pray this 